Hey, Nick, what are you doing? What? Why do you have a box cutter in your hand? Uh, this is all I have. I couldn't find my scissors. This is a movie about killers with scissors. I know the movie has scissors in it, but this is a box cutter. Start the show. Fine. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie Important. It's a movie review of Us. The newest film from director Jordan Peele stars Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Elizabeth Moss, Shahadi Wright Joseph, Evan Alex, Lupita Nyong'o, and Winston Duke. Let's see what I did there. Yeah. So this is a movie I've been anticipating for a while now. Ever since it got announced, I've been excited for this movie. It's the follow-up to Get Out, which is my favorite movie that came out that year. Get Out is one of the best movies to come out in the last decade. It's very original. It's very Twilight Zone-esque. And it has a lot of just political commentary about how people don't feel comfortable in their own skin. So they have to compose themselves into, you know, just other people. And it's just, it's really demented. It's really awesome. Daniel Kaluuya is awesome in it. You know, Catherine Keener, Bradley Whiffer, all those people are good. You know it. You've seen it. You love it. So the hype for this movie is it's pretty it's pretty good this is a movie that might rival captain marvel in its third week because jordan peele not only won an oscar but he's known for being part of key and peele he's an amazing director he knows how to do great horror suspenseful insane movies and so we get us which is uh it's basically about a family who travels to Santa Cruz, which is this island slash beach area. And Lupita Nyong'o has had a bad history with Santa Cruz. Something happened in her past, which causes her to be meek and very quiet and very just introverted. She's very protective of her kids. Her husband is more outgoing, but she doesn't like to do things. And then one day they go to Santa Cruz and her son, who's played by Evan Alex, he sees somebody on the beach who, you know, you see in the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. And then one night they see some, some people out on the, out in the driveway area. And of course, Winston Duke being the macho man, he goes out there and he's like, you want some trouble? If you got, if you don't want any trouble, you leave. And of course they don't leave. And then we find out that these are doppelgangers of the family and they want something from the family, which I'm not going to spoil. I'm going to do a spoiler review for this movie because I feel it's really important to talk about that in another video when everybody's seen this movie. But this movie is interesting because <laughs> it's doing a lot of top things that Jordan Peele likes to do. And what Jordan Peele wants to do is make you really think about his style of filmmaking, his you know, what he's going for and using care doppelgangers in this movie is fascinating. It's unique. It's very twilight zone esque, like get out. You can tell Jordan Peele is very, you know, he loves twilight zone. That's why he's redoing twilight zone as a remake or a reboot or whatever you want to call it. And this movie is, it's not simple. It's not straightforward. Still a horror film, but it's not what the trailers propose. Because it's dealing with a lot of interesting topics that aren't straightforward. And if you, you have to really think about this movie to really get the depths of what he's going for. And luckily, after seeing this movie, I had to go to work. And as I started thinking, as I was working, I started thinking about this movie. I just started realizing that the things he wants to talk about are insanely good in this movie. This movie... Just hits you like a gut. It hits you like a ball to the gut or a fist or whatever you want to call it. Like a just a, a it hits you so hard that you don't see it coming, and it's going to put off a lot of people because they want a straightforward horror film, and that's not what this is. This is a movie about a certain reasoning behind what Jordan Peele wants to tell. And it, you know, like I said, I want to. I don't want to go into spoilers, but it's it's a really good movie when you really get down to the basics of what it's trying to tell. Is not. I don't think it's as good as Get Out, but I think the level of detail, the level of camera work, the level of uncomfortable ability that he's putting on here, it's just it's mind-blowingly good, and it just proves that Jordan Peele 
is one of the best talents in the market right now. He knows what he's going for. He knows how to tell it perfectly. He does it so good. And like Daniel Kaluuya and Get Out, Lapita Nyong'o is that character that you are looking through the lens of because this is her story. You know, you have the family there that are participating in this, you know, scenario, but she is the main driving force behind this movie and she is incredible in this movie. She has to play a dual role in this movie as not only the good person, but as the bad person who is terrorizing the family. And it's just, it's incredible. You know, it's just, it's, 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 uh, Lupita Nyong'o is one of the best working actresses on the market. She is so good in everything she does. You know, 10 Years a Slave proved just how talented of an actress she was. Black Panther proves how she good, how she good, how good she is. And this just proves another point of just how deep and dark she is willing to go for a subject that is not, is not an easy thing to tell. And, you know, when you have Winston Duke on tow as her husband, he does a fantastic job supporting her in her character. And he is, like I said, he's a fun character. He wants to, you know, go out on the lake. He buys a boat. He is just an outgoing guy. He's fantastic in this movie. And the, also the other standouts are the kids. Like I said, Shahadi, right? Joseph and Evan, uh, Evan Alex are fantastic in this movie. They have a lot of depth to them. They are a lot of fun to watch because they're put into a situation that they would never see themselves in. And they also have doppelgangers after them, which is really interesting to watch how it plays out. Elizabeth Moss and Tim Heidecker are also in this movie as the, you know, the other friends. They're the Tim Heidecker is from Eric and Tim, you know, that really weird show that's on, uh, I think, Adult Swim or something like that. Of course, Elizabeth Moss is in Handmaid's Tale and Mad Men. They're a lot of fun. They're not in this movie a whole lot, but, you know, it's always fun to see these two characters and they have their idea and their story is a really fascinating look into kind of the being the, you know, yin and yang to Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke's character. But then we get to the end, we get to the surprise twist. And that's when the movie completely, I wouldn't say completely finales the movie, but it really kind of makes you think when you start piling in what the ending of the movie is telling you, to what the movie goes from start to finish to ending, it really starts putting the pieces together. And it's really, really fascinating how this movie is kind of like an onion. And you peel it away, there's an apple inside of it instead of an actual onion, which is, it, it's incredible. And the Jordan Peele is just, it's, it's so good. And it's going to be one of my favorites of this year. Like I said, it's not going to be for everyone because it's not straightforward. It's a horror film but it's not straightforward. And I will get into it in my spoiler review, why I think that is and why I think what Jordan Peele is trying to say in a movie like this. But it's a highly recommended movie. It's, it, it just, it, it across the board, everything is good about this movie. It looks good, it's clean. And there's some great cinematography in this movie, great music, all that good stuff. So, but that's my take on us, at least a spoiler free review of the movie. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out the YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter, email and lapolo 138 Give me the comment if you have any questions. So when you see us, tell me what you think. Don't spoil it for anybody. At least you get to the spoiler fill review of the uh, movie, re Emporium review I'm going to do. But tell me what you think of the movie. Tell me if it made any sense to you. If you want to talk to me and per like text me or something like that, that's fine. Tell me. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.